Let us have example number 2. So we have here f of x equals x squared plus x plus 3. Okay, so again, using our formula, f prime of x is equal to the limit of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x as delta x approaches to 0. We, go, we can get the derivative of this function. Okay, so again, pa para mabilis natin makuha, hanapin na agad natin ang f of x plus delta x. Okay, so since this is our function, pakita na natin ating pong mga x ng x plus delta x. Okay, so since we have x squared, so we have quantity x plus delta x squared plus again we have another x so x plus delta x plus and even a constant 3 okay so expand that into so again to expand this one we can square the first term so we have x squared and then get the second term uh, get the middle term by multiplying this first term and the second term and multiply it by 2 so we have twice the first term we have 2x twice the product of the first term and the uh, and the second term we have 2x delta x okay then square the last term we have delta x squared again to expand this binomial expression we can just square the first term and then square the second term or the last term and to get the middle term you need to multiply this uh, first term and, and second term then multiply it by 2 so we have x times delta x that would become x delta x and then multiply it by 2 so we have 2 x delta x okay so we have plus x plus delta x plus 3 now Tignan natin kung meron ba tayong pwedeng ma-combine. So, mga pansin natin, wala naman. They have, they don't have, or it doesn't have similar terms. Okay? So, automatic yan na po yung ating f of x plus delta x. Okay, so we will just substitute this. Our f of x plus delta x is x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared plus x plus delta x plus 3 minus our original function which is x squared plus x plus 3 all over delta x as delta x approaches to 0 all right so again we can cancel the opposite terms so we have or the terms opposite Signs we have x squared minus x squared, 0. So we have your x minus x is 0. 3 minus 3 is 0. Okay? So makapansin, yung, makapansin po natin na yung naiwan po ay yung mga terms na meron pong delta x. So we have 2x delta x plus delta x squared plus delta x all over delta x so we have delta x approaches zero okay now mapapansin natin na yung bawat term ay merong delta x so pwede po natin i-factor out yung delta x so labas natin delta, delta x sa first term ang maiiwan na lang ay 2x na lang plus dito naman isang delta x na lang maiiwan and dito naman po ay 1. Okay? Kasi delta x times 1, that would become delta x pa din. Okay? Wala po tayong kinansal dito. No? Ang ginawa natin, finactor out lang po natin ang delta x. So, divide by delta x as delta x approaches to 0. Now, we can cancel delta x. We can safely cancel this one. Okay? So, what is left? is limit of 2x plus delta x 
plus 1 as delta x approaches to 0. Okay? So, again, kapag meron tayo, yung delta x lang po ang magiging 0. So, we have 2x plus, since this is delta x, so magiging 0 yan, plus 1 is equal to 2x plus 1. Okay, so, as you can see here, this is our derivative. We have 2x plus 1. And we know that this is an element of real number. Right? So, for our conclusion, we could say that since f of x equals x squared plus x plus 3 has a derivative of 2x plus 1 which is an element of real number, then f of x is differentiable. Okay? So we could say that this implies that f of x is also continuous. Okay? Kaya hindi na natin ipakita kasi gamit yung ating idea or concept na kapag differentiable, automatic continuous na rin. Okay? This time, papakita natin yung another relationship. So, we have here if a function of f of x is not differentiable at x equals a, then it may or may not be continuous at x equals a. Again, ibig sabihin lang ito, kapag hindi daw differentiable ang ating function, pwedeng maging continuous or pwedeng hindi. Okay? So, ibig sabihin hindi tayo sure. Kaya kailangan natin isolve ang continuity nito. So, again, first thing to do is to find the, the derivative of this function. Again, so we have the formula f prime of x by this time sana sa ulo na natin yung ating form formula no so we have the limit of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x as delta x approaches to 0 so pwede nyo ako sabayan habang nagsasaita ako para mas ulo natin tong formula okay then Again, we have to get f, our f of x plus delta x. So since our f of x is square root of x minus 5, so we can write this as x plus delta x minus 5. Again, wala tayong, wala tayong binago dito maliban sa, uh, sa ating x. Okay, so since this is actually a simplified one, so plot lang natin. So we have here, the limit of our f of x plus delta x is the square root of x plus delta x minus 5 minus our origin, original function which is the square root of x minus 5 all over delta x as delta x approaches to 0. Okay? So now, let's um, let's subtract this one. Meron ba tayong pwedeng ma-subtract? Mapapasin natin dito na we have a radical number. Okay? So we have here a radical sign. So para ma-simplify ito, kailangan natin um, i-multiply itong ating pong expression by its conjugate pair. So, ano, ano nga ba yung conjugate pair? Okay, so ginagawa lang po natin ito. Ginagawa lang po natin ito kapag meron po tayong radical number. And to simplify this one, multiply po natin ang kanyang conjugate pair. 
Ang conjugate pair po nito ay yung expression pa din. Kaya lang, babaguhin lang po natin yung sign or yung operation. Kapag ito ay negative or minus, gagawin natin plus dito. Pero yung mga terms, same rin lang sila. Okay? So, we have here square root of x plus delta x minus 5. So, instead na minus, gagawin natin plus. Square root of x minus 5. And then, kung ano yung ating numerator, gawin din yung ating maging denominator. So, x plus delta x minus 5. Plus square root of x minus 5. Okay, so ito po yung conjugate pair niya. By doing so, masasimplify natin ang ating expression. Okay, so ano mangyayari dyan? So alam natin na itong ating numerator, no? Pag minutify po natin itong ating numerator, magiging ano lang? Magiging um, x plus delta x minus 5. Minus x Okay, minus the quantity of x minus 5 Okay, paano nangyari yun? So, balikan nyo lang yung Difference of 2 squares Okay Yung sa difference of 2 squares Sinasabi natin dun Na for instance, we have a product of x plus y times x minus y, ang mangyari, we can have square of the first term minus the square of the second term. So, basically, yan din yung ginawa natin dito. Medyo hindi nyo nga lang ma-appreciate or ma-notice dahil nga medyo malaki yung ating term or mas, medyo nasa tatlong terms meron tayo dito. Okay, pero Basically, yun din lang yung ating pong concept. Kasi kung iisipin natin, ito yung ating x, yung buong ito, yung ating x, and then ito naman yung ating y. Ngayon, kapag meron kang square root of x, okay, minus square root of y, and then ito naman, ganun din. It's actually our x, and this is our y. So, i-multiply doon natin. Square root of x minus square root of y. So, kapag i-multiply natin to, ay, sorry, plus para to. So, kapag i-multiply natin to, magkakaroon tayo ng difference of two squares. Ibig sabihin nun, ang mangyari yung ating first term ay magiging square minus square root of our y squared. So, parang gayto yung itsura niya. Okay? Kasi ang ating first term ay parehas lang. Pati ang ating second term ay parehas lang. Kapag parehas yung content, or parehas yung ating terms, and ang nagkaiba lang ay yung sign, that means, pwede natin magamit ang difference of two squares. So, alam naman natin na square root and square ay, uh, kumbaga, maka-cancel out yung square, no? Kasi nga, one half yan, then two. Then, i-multiply mo, magiging one na lang. Kaya, ang mangyari, magiging x minus y. No? So, dito, sa ating pong, uh, balik tayo sa ating given example, kaya ang makikita ninyo, nawala na yung ating square root, no? Ito na siya naging x plus delta x minus 5 na lang, and then minus, Tapos, naglagay tayo ng quantity dito kasi nga binomial yan. So, dito, x minus 5. So, x minus 5 rin dito. Okay? So, basically, yun lang yung process ng naginawa natin. So, all over. Okay, dito naman, makapansin ninyo, hindi natin pwede gawin yung ginawa natin kanina. Kasi dito, delta x yung ating pong uh, denominator. Tapos, dito naman, syempre, iba. So, pwede lang natin silang i-copy na lang. Okay. Kapag walang kaparehang term, that means pwede natin silang i-copy na or i-combine na lang. Ayan. Now, we can cancel our x minus x and negative 5 
So, we can cancel minus 5 kasi negative times negative magiging positive 5 yan. So, negative 5 plus 5 is actually 0, di ba? So, ang matitira dito sa taas ay delta x na lang. We have delta x over delta x times the square root of x plus delta x minus 5 plus square root of x minus 5 and so again we can cancel yung delta x ang maiwan ng dito ay 1 kasi delta x divided by delta x is 1 no? kaya ang magiging sagot natin is the limit Okay, balik tayo dito. So, we have here the limit of 1 all over square root of x plus delta x minus 5 plus square root of x minus 5. Okay? As delta x approaches to 0. Ayan. And since ang atin pong delta x nag sa 0, so yung naiwang delta x dito, pagkita natin ang 0. So we have here 1 over square root of x plus 0 minus 5 plus square root of x minus 5. So magiging 1 over square root of x minus 5 plus square root of x minus 5. 